uh, kwa karibu sana karibu sana uh, it is very very cold outside uh, it is winter time nataka nikuoneshe nataka kuzungumzia tu vitu vichache ambavyo vinaweza vikawa ni common for others lakini might be helpful for some other people to know the basic uh, weather situation kwa upande wa Marekani na most of the western world na jinsi gani hii hali ya hewa inaweza ikakusaidia wewe ukitaka kufanya baadhi ya simple decision ikiwa kwa mfano uh, kama unataka kwenda kutembelea nchi fulani how does the weather is going to impact your decision on what time of the year to go and visit one region over the other kwa hiyo hiyo ndio sababu kubwa ya laka laka ya kuweza kuzungumzia hivi kwa kama unavyoona hapa ni very severe uh, winter storm coming up ilianza kuanzia saa saba, mcha, saba usiku uh, ta, wa tuvoingia mwaka mpya na for the next 24 hours hii hali ya hewa itaendelea kuwa hivi itakuwa ni very very tight uh, kwa hiyo nataka kuhakikisha kwamba wewe unanisikiliza hapa katika katika Instagram inaweza kujua kwamba how does this kind of weather inakuwepo na inasaidia vipi mtu kufanya baadhi ya simple decisions kama vile kwamba ni tembelee mji fulani au jimbo fulani msimu gani je naweza ngoja kutembelea mtu kwamba au oh, nataka niende kula christmas niende niende marekani lakini je unataka kwenda kula christmas marekani huko katika jimbo kama california ambako hamna snow au nataka kwenda kwa majimbo ambayo utaishia kukaa ndani hapa nafungia na wewe sasa hivi hali ya hewa hapa ni kwa degrees ambazo ni celsius ni kama negative tano na mimi hapa nipo katika jimbo ambalo sio tunasema kwamba sio lenye weather ambayo ni tight sana kama vile unavyozungumzia weather za majimbo ambayo mengineyo. Kwa hiyo ngoja nikuoneshe tu haraka haraka hapa nikuoneshe kwamba jinsi gani unavyoona hali ya hewa ilivyo kwamba hapa unaona uh, inadondoka snow hapo bado hali ni mbaya mno na itaendelea kwa masaa kama hivi kwa muda wa masaa yafuatayo 24 hivi itaendelea kuwepo uh, it might is i'm saying inaweza in, kanikanika kwamba ni kitu cha kawaida kwako au kwa watu wengi kwamba hali ya hewa namna hii hapa but this kind of weather inaweza ikakusaidia katika kujua baadhi ya mambo kwamba tuna majira manne kwamba unataka kwenda vacation kwa mfano unakuja vacation kuja Marekani. Kwa kama unakuja vacation Marekani, uje msimu gani? Je, huo msimu unaokuja, hali ya hewa ikoje? Huo msimu unaokuja, activity gani zinaweza kuwepo? Huo msimu unaokuja, uh, what will be the cost of flight ticket? What kind of activities can you be able to enjoy? Kwa mfano ukisema kwamba unakuja vacation, honeymoon, kwa mfano unakuja this december au unakuja unakuja novemba unakuja january unakuja february alafu unaenda katika jimbo kama vile uh, vermont unaenda katika jimbo kama vile wyoming unaenda katika jimbo kama vile montana it's extremely extremely cold in those particular areas kwa kama unakuja kwenye vacation ya wiki mbili hiyo honeymoon yako unaweza kujikuta siku zote unaishia ndani mjifunika kama blanketi lakini ukija katika kipindi ambacho ni kama ni spring ukija kama kipindi cha summer you can be in a position to enjoy the weather so that is something i want you to uh, for you to understand there are simple things about it to understand just weather uh, sometimes since we take it for granted uh, tunapokuwa Afrika kwamba we have climate is either rain season or dry season simple like that so you can just go any time whatever you want but here you have to check hour per hour what will be the weather look like i remember while i was brand new here in america uh, the first winter was in west virginia so i just look outside and say, oh the weather is good so i decided to go to the store when i was in the store like it was an hour later so i walked to that store was about 30 minutes walk from both 20 30 minutes walk from my home when i was in the store then the snow came out so i had to get the get the someone gave me the ride to take me back home but that was a mistake i assumed but you have to look whether uh, hour per hour and how it's going to change kwa mfano simple example uh wakati nilikuwa macho most of the night kwa sababu nilikuwa na recording some videos and doing some few other things wakaambia kwamba sijui saa saba usiku itaanza saa ngapi itakuwa ni how much inches of snow saa nane how much it was hour per hour and it will continue this for the next 24 hours kwa hiyo what i'm trying to explain uh, kwa alaka alaka tu ni kwamba wewe kuhakikisha kwamba unajua vitu vidogo vidogo kama hivi hapa weather situation of particular areas you want to visit 
Uh, na hizi hali ya hewa the weather condition can also determine other factors is weather condition inaweza kukupelekea kwamba ujue kwamba cost of living of the particular area kwa mfano mto California California there is no snow the weather condition is very very good na ni one among the richest states kwa hiyo inakuwa ni ngumu I mean inakuwa ni very expensive when it comes to the cost of living that is very different when it comes to if you consider other states kwa mfano ukizungumzia state kama vile ambazo kama vile ukizungumzia kama vile napoishi Missouri au Kansas au uh, ndao hayo unaenda Michigan ambapo kuna snow so those are the simple things you have to consider when you want to go like the cost of apartment the cost of purchasing a home what type of jobs are available uh, during the summer during the winter kazi gani zinazopatikanika uh, and the, how all these kind of things zina pugua kwa mlele pale tagula nipo nasema kwa pa happy new year mkubwa naona imeanguka snow yeah snow imedondoka na itaendelea kudondoka mpaka sasa hivi kuna inaanguka sasa hivi kama unavyoona siju kama unaweza kuiona inavyoendelea kuanguka hapa ah uh, itaendelea kuanguka kama kawaida na kwa muda wa masaa kama 24 ah uh, itaendelea kuanguka kwa hiyo yeah it will be a little bit scary ah uh, bilali saidi na kuona mkuu wa kazi happy new year mkuu hapa tunaendelea vizuri uh, mmoja karibia tarudi ndani baridi inakuwa ni kali sana unaona na mikono yangu yenyewe mpaka inakaribia kuganda hapa <laughs> nilikuwa pa kwa muda kidogo na rekodi baadhi ya videos kuhakikisha kwamba tunapeana habari za hapa na pale. Kwa hiyo nazungumza kwamba hali ya hewa ya sehemu inaweza kadetermine baadhi ya vitu kwamba gharama ya maisha ya sehemu inaweza kachangia kujua mambo kadhaa kwa mfano unataka kusafiri uende mji gani uh, vile vile uh, activities gani unataka kuja kwenye kipindi cha Christmas au unataka kuja kipindi cha sama what activities unaweza kuzienjoy. So unakurupuka tu kwa bwana mimi nataka niende Marekani unaambiwa unaulizwa na nani na 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 unaenda kwa consular officer uh, you are they asking the question why what activities are you going to do oh, i'm going for vacation where i'm going to the us oh, so which state are you going oh, i'm going to vermont and they want to go to enjoy at the beach wherever they want to know the geography you need to know the weather you cannot go to the beach or to the lake to enjoy in the state where it is extremely cold mpaka kila kitu mpaka mpaka ziwa bahari na ganda Ko, you have to be careful with his simple things like this one unaona kwa hiyo hayo ndio mambo nataka kuzungumzia tu kwa laka laka i don't have much uh, ni kushauri tu kwamba uh, yeah weather is very very something very very critical and very important for you to know those kind of things so that you can be in a position uh, kuamua wapi uende kuishi kwa nini faida zake hasara changamoto vitu kama vya namna hiyo hapo mimi nimeishi California yes we had a very very good weather lakini nimeondoka nimekuja katika state kama za namna hii hapa ambazo kuna snow it is very very cheap oh affordable can simply say that way kwa hiyo even vitu ambavyo tunaviangalia vyote ni vya msingi katika mazingira ya laka laka kwa hiyo i don't have much but just to make a short video like this one then it's kuka nje for the long time I have to try to go back inside and relax just have some maybe hot tea or something like that nisije nikaganda mwenyewe hapa degrees hapa ni negative 5 celsius na nimekuwa hapa nje kwa dakika kadhaa alma 212 happy new year to you too thank you so much yeah kwa hiyo Ya, yeah. kwa hivyo ndio vitu vidogo vidogo. Kama mtu mwana swali unaweza kaniuliza swali kabla sijaganda nirudi ndani. <laughs> ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, Idris, thank you so much. Junior mwenyewe, happy new year to you. Thank you. It's so cold. Official Sue. Happy new year to you. Pharmacist mwenyewe. poleni sana. Ah, ongeleni kwanza nyio. Ile yuko mambo safi. Ivi uh, IBM noise unaweza kupelezeaje? Jimbo la uh, Illinois ah uh, Illinois ni kwamba ndio ambako mji mkubwa wa Chicago. 
kwa sababu watu wengi watu wengi tunachanganya tunazongira joga Chicago ni Jimbo kwa Illinois ni Jimbo ambalo liko na aliko mbali sana na hapa almost like 6 hours drive i think 8 hours kutoka hapa napoishi mimi ah uh, inategemeana na zungumza kwa kuna baridi ni kali sana Illinois kama ukataka kuzungumzia kuzungumzia hali ya hewa au baridi ni mkali kuliko ni wa kwangu uh, kwa hiyo yao ni kubwa kuliko ni ya kwangu lakini napokuja kwenye masuala ya kwenye masuala ya cost of living ukiishi Chicago kama Chicago ni very very expensive Chicago ule mji wenyewe ni unaanza unaona ni mji ambao ume, umekuwa downtown yake ni kubwa kama vile inaenda kwenye style za New York style kwa ni very very expensive Chicago kama Chicago ila ukitoka nje ya Chicago Uh, unapoenda huko Great Lakes unaenda nje ya Illinois yani ile ile out, out, outside maisha yake yanakuwa ni kawaida ni kama tu maisha ya cost of living ya kawaida kama vile Kansas kama vile Missouri kama vile Michigan na majimbo mengine ya Midwest kwa Midwest is Midwest is very affordable area you can be able to live tunaposema Midwest tunamaanisha ni majimbo ya katikati ya Marekani na siji kwa nini unataka ni Midwest kwa nini unataka Mid East siji kwa nini kwa kuna East Coast afu kuna Midwest afu kuna uko nani kwa ni middle of the united states but western part i don't know why do they call it that way kwa unapozungumzia kama vile michigan unapozungumzia kansas unapozungumzia missouri unapozungumzia uh, illinois uh, hayo ni majimbo ambayo unasema kwamba ni midwest states kwa hiyo uh, okay, nje ya chicago ni maisha kawaida tu zile normal life like any other midwest midwest states lakini kama unaishi chicago uh, is very expensive na kuna a lot of crime kwa hiyo ndio anaweza kuzungumzia kitu cha namna hiyo. Ku Chicago ukiona kuna a lot of gangs uh, kwa sababu hali ya maisha imekuwa ni kubwa. Kwa kuna gang um, wala magang madogo gani so you, if someone kushuti mtu ni kitu cha kawaida Chicago. Kwa kuna a lot of crimes upande wa Chicago is Chicago. I've been there many times uh, I mean two times I can simply say nimeishi Illinois yani boot camp while I was in the US Navy. Boot camp was in the is in Illinois ko I was in Illinois kwa almost like almost two no almost two and a half to three month I was in Illinois uh the Chicago nilisha kufika na I've been to Chicago like two other times for interviews for jobs couple times nilisha kufika pale so I know even the hotel how expensive they are how difficult it is to get good hotels in Chicago lakini get out of Chicago the normal life is normal like any other mid uh, midwestern states any other question yeah kama una swali unaweza kauliza kabla sijaondoka hapa sitaki kuganda kwa ndio nikanywe chai ya moto. Kizikana nisinzie kabisa nipate na blanketi afa nisinzie. Okay. Alafu uh, kuna sehemu pia nasikiaga wanaita sababan ni maeneo gani? Ah uh, sababan ni uh, ni sub urban area. Kwa hiyo ni nje kidogo ya mji. It's just like the outskirts. Ngoja ni kuna kitu kimoja nataka ni waonesheni hapa. Kuna hilo gari linalopita hilo hapo. Ah, uh, kuna hilo gari linalopita. Ninachofanya ni kwamba linakuwa linaondoa snow kwenye barabara, alafu kwa nyuma linakuwa limeweka chumvi, kuna chumvi maalum. Hiyo chumvi kazi yake ni kuyeyusha snow na kup kupunguza kuteleza ili magari yaweze kupita vizuri. Kwa hiyo ni kazi ya kodi moja hapo. Uh, moja kazi ya kodi ni hiyo hapo. Kuhakikisha kwamba magari hayo yanakuepo. Uh, kwa hiyo unamuuliza kwamba sababu ni maeneo gani? Uh, obvious is urban areas then sub urban areas. Kwa hiyo sub urban areas ni hizo areas ambazo zinakuwa ni nje kidogo ya sio typical urban areas ni uh, kwa mfano kama tuseme kwamba sio typical rulo ni kati ya rulo na urban katikati yani inakuwa katika mazingira namna ile pale Frank World Tours pamoja mkuu thank you ya yeah. 
the problem of tourism now uh, with the covid bado kuna changamoto kubwa sana people to travel around yeah nimezunguzia video moja when uh, nimeweka kwenye, kwenye na youtube channel mbili na youtube ya kiingereza na youtube ya kiswahili kwenye youtube ya, kinge, ya kiswahili nimetoa video moja hapo nazungumzia mambo changamoto za new year's resolution kwa hiyo nikazungumzia yes mari Uh, number one minute, one second. Na toka live kidogo, 